Meteorologist Chris Haddings here. Uh, not too many uh, travel problems as we head through the weekend, but late Sunday night into Monday, things could get really interesting around here. I just want to give you a heads up as we head into the weekend as far as we're doing this briefing. So I'll time out the general impact Saturday. Looks like a mild day across much of the area. It will be windy, especially in the favorite areas like, say, Casper, also around the Cody area, the Absorcas. Wouldn't be surprised if we had some high wind warnings issued for that time frame. Sunday still looks like a mild day for most of the area. There will be a very strong cold front throw spreading into uh, northern parts of the state late in the day. Some snow will probably break out, say, anywhere north of, say, maybe agreeable over to Jackson Line. But most areas should be dry and stay mild through sunset Sunday. Then going rapidly downhill as we head to Sunday night as snow spreads from north to south across the area. Now, Monday at this point looks like kind of an ugly day. Much, much colder. I'll show you how cold in just a couple of minutes. Travel problems also likely there. Now, exact snowfall amounts and the timing of when the heaviest snow falls, still a lot of uncertainty there. It's still about uh, two to three days out, so we should be able to fine-tune the forecast, give you a better idea over the weekend. So our confidence levels, very cold temperatures. That's just about 100%. It's going to get much colder. Some of the coldest air we've seen so far this winter. It's been very mild so far, I know, but this will be a slap to the face for a lot of people. Travel problems, high chance of that, especially Sunday night and Monday. Not too much this weekend, so if you're traveling through Sunday, unless you're driving a high-profile vehicle, it should be okay to get around. And timing of the snow, as well as the snowfall amounts, still low confidence on the details of that. You have to pin me down for something. Northern areas may get a little more than southern areas, but exact amounts, it's too early to tell you that right now. I'll show you a couple of things here. This is what we call mediagrams, basically. Uh, the temperature is what it's going to be. You can see fairly mild to the weekend, 40s to around 50 in a lot of areas, but look at how much this drops off as we head toward Monday, and especially into Tuesday. That looks like that's going to be the core and the coldest day before we start rebounding toward the end of the week. Now, I'm going to show you this graphic, but don't be shocked when you see this. Much, much colder. This will be the difference in temperature. It's basically between Sunday, the high Sunday, and the highs on Tuesday. You can see some areas 50. It wouldn't surprise me to see some areas a 60 degree difference colder temperature for a high on Tuesday as compared to a high on Sunday. Some places probably won't get above zero on this day. The snow falling, it's not going to be very pleasant if you have to be outside that day. You see our resources there for our weather, road conditions, as well as our webcams by route. Should have another briefing tomorrow with hopefully some more details, especially on the snowfall. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your day.